Another couple of weeks closer to the fight, Kai. Um, how's things been going in camp for you? Yeah, camp's been going actually really well. Uh, we're about four weeks out right now. Um, so I'm starting to get excited, starting to forget um, that fitness where it needs to be for the fight. And uh, I'm just enjoying training. Um, it's always nice not uh, getting tired and, and you can push through, especially in this heat right now at the gym. You know, it, it gets pretty sweaty and it gets, it gets hot in there, but um, it's kind of re reassuring knowing that the fitness is where it should be. And um, when guys are kind of fading because they've taken time off the Christmas break, you can push through and, and um, yeah, it's, it's been a good um, last couple of few weeks. Just fine tuning a few things, uh, working on things that um, we could have done in my last fight. So we're just kind of touching up on that. And, um, you know, I, I love to just keep an open mind and, um, and absorb as much information as I can, you know, with so many high level coaches and, and training partners at this gym at City Kickboxing. Um, it's an awesome place to be. So I'm working quite a lot with Eugene, um, just fixing little things that um, we could have done differently and uh, implementing it for this fight. So uh, it's the best thing I could have done is just get another fight and get straight back in there. So I'm um, feeling confident and um, I'm, I'm, I'm re just excited and I'm ready to get in there. Uh, that's something um, you mentioned about looking back. Is, is that something that you normally do or you spend a little bit more time looking back at your last fight this time around? Well, that's the thing. When, you, when you're under the bright lights, that's where it all matters and that's where it counts. So if you're going off your last fight, um, that's what my opponent we will be watching as well. So he'll be trying to exploit those kind of things um, that he saw. So we want to make sure we're, we're covering our tracks and, and we're fixing things that we could have done differently and uh, just adding to, to our game as well. So uh, for this fight, um, uh, we've watched a bit of fight footage. He's, he's a heavy hitter, um, likes to strike, likes to punch. He's got some good wrestling as well. So we're, we're working on things to counter that and um, to take the, take the game where we want to go to. And uh, don't be surprised if uh, you might, might see a few t takedowns in there as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad things are working out like they should be. And yeah, let's just do it. Uh, you're telling me before you've had a bit of one-on-one -on -one with Izzy. Oh yeah, we're just leading up to the last, um, well, in the last few weeks, we build our cardio doing sh uh, shuttles in the gym. So it's it's nice having a guy like Israel, where everyone's so competitive. No one wants to lose a round, um, and we're neck and neck the whole time. He's a f strong fi um, strong starter. I'm a, I'm a strong finisher, so it kind of evens things out when you try keep up for each other. Um, but it's just friendly competition, and uh, it's it's a great place to be and. Um, it brings the best out of you. So when you win those little battles in the gym, you know, eventually they build up and, and then it's fight week. So um, that's what, where the confidence comes from. And, and what about the buzz around town? Have you noticed any, anything? Um, well, especially with all the success the gym's had in the last year, getting gym of the year, Eugene getting coach of the year, Israel getting, um, you know, fighter of the year. It, it's been a pretty, um, an amazing year. So um, come 2020, um, it's, you know, nearly end of, uh, end of January now, we're, we're um, just hitting the ground running. And um, we've got four weeks now for um, this UFC Auckland card. And you can definitely feel people are starting to get, um, you know, they're, they're back into work, back into their routines. They've realized, you know, oh, these guys are just trained right through. We haven't really had a break, which is, you know, what we wanted to do. We didn't... Um, we didn't have Christmas, we didn't have New Year's, we just kind of trained all the way through. So uh, we're, we're ready, more than ready to do it now, um, but we get an uh, extra few weeks. So uh, it's an exciting time and it's just going to get more and more um, exposure being in um, Auckland and being in you know, the mecca of fighting at the moment. Everyone seems to um, want to come down here and train with us, but we've got to keep the circle quite small considering you know everyone, the, the martial arts circle is is a small world, you know, eventually you could be fighting some guys that want to come train down here. So we've got to make sure we're, we're doing all those things right and not letting everyone in. Um, but we've got a good thing going here. It's a real family environment where um, you feel welcome to, you feel you're a part of something. And um, it's awesome to see and having these guys fighting on the local card and internal and an Australian promotion coming over to Auckland the night before the Auckland card. Um, that's been amazing having you know five guys on that card so they're pushing just as hard as we are um, me Brad and Dan so it's a uh, big team effort uh, but 
we're, we're more than ready for these big big fights and these big moments and um, yeah we're going to start 2020 with a, with a massive bang cool hope to talk to you again closer to the fight mate uh, good good to hear everything's on track cheers mate always appreciate your time and and um, always always got time for you yeah. Thanks, cheers thanks, mate appreciate that Nah, you're all good, man. I've just got to go f physio, but it's okay if I'm a little...